it is natural to feel bitter or develop a, a grudge when you are hurt by someone. As bitterness builds inside of you, it is usually followed by a swarm of other emotions, feelings of anger, resentment and rejection accompanied by a desire for revenge. Hello everyone, our topic today is how to forgive someone. Toxic emotions don't change your situation or the person that hurts you. As you let them take over, they do change you, hurting you from far more than the other person. And it doesn't stop there. When bitterness and resentment take control, they can spill over and infect others who aren't even involved. This is why the Bible refers to bitterness as poison. Watch out. No poisonous root of bitterness grows up to trouble you, corrupting many. Hebrews 12.15 If you aren't careful, it can hurt you and those close to you. Ask yourself, do you like being around someone who is bitter or angry? The Bible goes a step further and explains why it's important to forgive. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Ephesians 4, 31. So, how do we forgive others? There are many paths to forgiveness, but nearly all of them include these three steps. Number one, recognize the importance Jesus put on forgiveness. When he was teaching the disciples how to talk to God, he mentioned it in his mother prayer, forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. Matthew chapter 6 verse 12. Number two, reject the devil. Let go of your anger. Don't give Satan a chance to use your bitterness. And don't sin by letting anger control you. Don't let the sun go down while you are still angry, for anger gives a foothold to the devil. Ephesians 4, verse 26 to 27. Number three, remember God has forgiven you. Oh, yes. Make allowance for each other's fault and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgives you, so you must forgive others. Colossians chapter 3, verse 13. Lastly, have you acknowledged God's forgiveness? Do you understand the sacrifice Jesus made so you could be forgiven? If not, don't delay. The book of Matthew, chapter 18, 15, 35 said, If your brother sins against you, go and show him his fault. Just between the two of you, if he listens to you, you have won your brother over. But if he will not listen, take one or two others along, so that every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, then what will you do? You leave him. You leave him because you have tried your best and nobody is going to judge you on that okay and anytime somebody did wrong to you so let's just initiate this go and initiate the reconciliation process by going to that person don't wait for the person to come to you go Many broken relationships stay broken because of a proud refusal by one or both people to take the first step. Here and in the book of Matthew chapter 5, Jesus tells us that we should take this first step, his fault or my fault. It doesn't matter. Take the first step. Go. Show him his fault. Tell him what he's done. Get it on the by the table and talk about it. There are some right and wrong ways to do this. We will talk about that in another moment. 
just between the two of you. This is huge. If you have a problem with somebody, go to that person. Don't talk to someone else about him. Go to him. Go to him or her. Work it out with that person so that you will not be judged because our Father in Heaven knows us more than we know ourselves. Go. When Peter was asking Jesus a question, Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother when he sins against me? Up to seven times. Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. Hallelujah. Why we just want to go and forgive somebody? For if we forgive other people, when they sin against you, your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgive you. Do not judge and you will not be judged. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name.